Today, I'm wearing my green hat, and that can only mean one thing. Another beer from the Alchemist Brewery. So excited. Let's check it out. Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Shane's Craft Beer Review. A couple quick things before we get into today's exciting beer. Um, do you guys remember a while ago when I was talking about the Chuggy Awards like a whole lot? Well, next week, we are actually recording the ceremony for the Chuggy Awards when I get down to Chicago next week. Very, very excited to go down there. I'm excited to see Mallory and Chu and Brian and a couple of the guys that I've never actually met in person before, like Chase, Blue Ice... All those other guys, it's going to be an absolutely awesome, awesome video. Um, I will give you guys a notification of when the live premiere is going to be. Um, it'll probably be in two weeks from today-ish. Um, I'm not quite sure. But yeah, very excited to record that next week. Um, also, uh, anybody who is still interested in being a part of my All By Myself Part 2 project, um, I have gotten a couple of videos, um, most notably from uh, Bucks County Beer Reviews. Uh, Wayne, uh, he sent me in some just banger videos. Um, so if you guys want to get involved, you still have a couple months, uh, probably two, two and a half months or so. Um, but definitely get on those because those two months are going to fly by like no tomorrow. And you guys need to get these videos into me uh, to be part of my All By Myself project. Um, that The link for the description for that will be in, the, in my description. The description will be in the description. Yeah, something like that anyway. Um, so if you're interested in it, please send me some videos soon. Um, if you're planning on doing something later on, just let me know. Leave a little comment like, hey, I'm planning on doing something. Uh, I'm not camping for another month. Just let me know, just so I have a rough idea of how many people are actually going to be involved. I know I have Bucks County Beer Reviews. I have Brian the Beer Snob. I have uh, Mad Dan from Australia is uh, said he's going to do some videos. Uh, Chase, Nutmeg 2 Palmetto. Um, it's going to be an absolutely awesome, awesome video, and the more people that get involved, the better it's going to be. Anyway, enough about some self-promotion chain. Let's get into today's beer. Today's beer comes from the Alchemist Brewery in uh, Stowe, Vermont. Um, if you guys have seen uh, episode 500 of mine, uh, you will know that my buddy Matt and I went down there, and these guys have just knocked every beer that I've tried out of the park. So I'm really hoping that this one does the exact same thing. Um, if you haven't checked out my 500th video, um, what is wrong with you? It is freaking hilarious. Go check it out. Um, it is really awesome. I, I put a lot of work and a lot of time into that video. Um, so yeah, check it out. It is really, really awesome. Anyway, so today, uh, like I said, from the Alchemist Brewery, we have the Skadoosh. This is an American Pale Ale, 7% uh, alcohol by volume. Um, I don't have the IBUs listed on the can, but I'll put them over on the fridge if I can find them. Uh, on the back here it says, Skadoosh is our rotating American IPA that allows us to experiment with new hop varieties. To hear what John has to say about this beer, visit our YouTube channel, Alchemist Beer. Um, yeah, so if you're interested in Alchemist Beers, go check out Alchemist Beer on YouTube. Um, like I said, the, the couple beers that I've had from Alchemist already have been just amazing and literally I want to go back there tomorrow. I was talking to uh, my buddy Matt who you guys know from episode 500 uh, when we went down there. Uh, we're both ready to go back to Vermont and drive the nine and a half hours just to get the beer from there. They are so amazing. Um, so let's try this American India Pale Ale from the Alchemist Brewery. Oh and hey check this out guys. Yeah hard pour cam. It's been a while, hasn't it? It's actually been quite a while since I've done this hard pour cam. So I'm excited to bring it back into action, even if Drew hates it. But uh, yeah, there it is. Check that out. That's a thing of beauty. Okay, so here we go. We have our skadoosh in the glass. Looks fantastic. Great head on this. Uh, quite hazy. Um, can't really see it. I mean, I can see a shadow through it, but um, pretty hazy as it stands. Uh, let's get a quick little nose on this. Getting a little bit of a, a fruitiness, a bit of a hoppiness as well. 
smells actually pretty, pretty damn good. I have high hopes for this. Um, literally, the Alchemist is my my favorite brewery now. I mean, I, I bought the hat. I bought the... Oh, I don't have my shirt on. Hang on. Uh-huh. Voila. There's my shirt. Um, I should have put that on before put that on before the video, but ah, whatever, who cares? Um, let's give this a taste guys. Uh, cheers. Okay. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, one more taste. All right. Now, it's not it's not overly fruity or tropical. You're already getting that nice um, hot bitterness from it. Not overpowering, but you're definitely getting it. Um, really, really nice to drink. Um, not easy to drink. There is uh, there's enough hops there to let you know that there's hops, but there's not enough that it's gonna absolutely destroy um, somebody who's not a big hop head. But quite nice. Yeah, even that head tastes delicious. It's really good. Yeah, super nice. A little bit dry on the finish. A little bit dry, getting a little bit of that hop on the clothes. Um, but a really, really decent beer. Um, I'm so glad I picked this up. Now, having said that, it's no heady topper and definitely not a focal banger. But the skadoosh, they got something. Uh, they got something going on here. On a scale of one to five, I'm gonna give this a solid four and a quarter. Really, really good. I would definitely buy this again. And seriously, I cannot wait to get back down to Vermont and buy a whole bunch of beers from there. Um, I do have a couple more still in the fridge. There is a bunch that uh, I didn't buy when I was there, um, just because I can only bring back. <laughs> I can only bring back so many. Um, but yeah, I would definitely pick up another one of these skadooshes. Uh, and I do think, um, if I remember correctly, after reading on Untapped, I think the skadoosh series, I think they change it up every once in a while. So if you get a skadoosh, like say today, it may not be the same skadoosh that you get a year from now. Um, I think they changed the recipe a little bit. Um, so this is the 2023 version, I think, um, I'm trying to think of when this was brewed. Uh, oh, this is made. Oh, hey, Drew, the hops are on the, actually they're not on the can, but they're on the bottom of the can. This is made with uh, Amarillo and Idaho 7. And it says the number 86, so I'm assuming this is Skadoosh 86. Uh, anyway, great beer, guys. If you guys are in Vermont, stop by the Alchemist Brewery. I don't care if it's two or three hours out of your way. Stop by this brewery. Absolutely fantastic beers. The staff is really, really friendly, really, really cool. And uh, yeah, just a great place to go. Anyway, that's the Skadoosh, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to get on board with my All By Myself Part 2 project. And don't forget to look for the Chuggy Award ceremony coming up in about two weeks. Uh, live premiere. It's going to be super, super epic. I'm so excited for it. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you next time.